What up, my beautiful peoples? Welcome to episode three of Rizzy Talks. Today is for you truck guys out there. If you're looking for a cover for the back of your truck, you want something cheap but durable, I got one off of Amazon. I'm gonna walk you through it and tell you all about it. Let's go. What up my peoples? As you guys can tell, I'm not in my truck. My wife is taking me to work. If you watched my previous episodes, you will know my truck got a dent in it. I got hit. Right now it's getting fixed, which I'm so happy about. But I'm not too excited about getting my wife up early to take me to work. She wanted to, even though I know she's not a morning person. So I love her to death for this. But um, today I was all about that cover for the back of your truck. Um, let me just start off by saying I am new to the truck community and I love it to death. And when I got my truck, I realized the back is open. You know, it doesn't come with a cover or anything on it. And there's tons of options out there, depending on uh, what you're gonna be using your truck for. I found a few that I really, really liked. <clears throat> Sorry guys, the cough, not feeling too well. I have a migraine right now, but the show must go on. Um, but there was a couple that I really, really liked that was hard cover and they, it was like trifold, they flip over over each other you can take it off which I really really like because it seems like it'll make the back very secure and it's hard to cover you can stand on it it's tough but they cost anywhere from like nine hundred to thirteen hundred dollars and I don't have that kind of money right now uh, we do do a lot of traveling for my for my kids lacrosse games and uh, they recently just started uh, playing football this year so I wanted something where don't have to be secure, but where I put their equipment in the back, it doesn't get wet, especially with the snow coming and everything. So I just wanted something cheap, but durable enough to get through the winter. Uh, so I can go grocery shopping, uh, or I got to take the kids to a game, we can put their equipment or the groceries back there, and it doesn't get wet. But it doesn't have to be secure, because I keep nothing of value in the back anyway. So. I decided to find something cheap, so I went on Amazon, I'm looking around, and I found the couple uh, for some decent prices, but before I pulled the trigger, I went around to some local shops and see what they would charge me for uh, some of their cheaper options, and the lowest that I got was 350 bucks. For a person who got a lot of money, 350 bucks probably is not a lot. $350 is a lot of money for me, especially knowing after the winter I'm planning on getting rid of it and getting my the one that I really want that's flush with the back anyway. So I went back to Amazon, I read tons of reviews, tried to find videos on anyone I can find, and I came across this one and with taxes and everything, it's about 150 bucks. I'm like, I know nothing about these covers. It's a soft cover, it's a roll up. So in my eyes, if I'm carrying something in the back, uh, helping somebody out moving something, it's easy, so I can just roll it up, snap it, and I have my whole bag to use. Uh, it's got the metal bars that go across like this. So it's, it should be pretty pretty all right when snow, whatever's on it. It looked like it was easy to put on. I talked to everybody that I'd known that had a truck when I was at gas stations. Uh, I would go up to people and be like, hey, don't mind me asking, how you like that cover, how much you paid for it, and are they hard to put on? Because everybody wanted to charge me like 200 to put it on. They'll still put me in the 350 range where I don't want to be. I usually don't work in my old vehicles. I usually just pay somebody to do all my work. But I'm getting to the point in my life where I actually enjoy it, so I figured, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a shot. So we ordered it on Amazon, and it came in, and we were supposed to go out the day that it came in to my son's game, which is like an hour to hour and 15 minutes away. And it was snowing pretty heavily. So I was like, you know what? Forget it, I'm gonna go out there right now. I'm gonna put this on and we're gonna see how it goes. So I got about a five to seven minute video I'm gonna show you guys 
of me installing this for, for the first time ever in my life. Then we're gonna come back and talk a little bit about it. So let's go. See, but it is snowing and we're gonna be putting up a little tunnel cover we brought offline in the snow. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but it came in late. Here goes the box. Exactly how you see the box right now is how it came. Everything was uh, pretty packaged well. It came with the brackets, the rails, and the cover itself. And I'm pretty happy with uh, the way that it was packaged. As you can see, it's snowing pretty hard. I just went in the house, grabbed a towel, wiped it down real quick, and put the bracket down. I did not use a measuring tape whatsoever. There is a rubber on the bottom of the bracket, which makes me feel comfortable by setting it on the truck. As you see right here, that's the bracket. I added up with the back of the truck. And there is a chunky area, as you see right here, that's for the back of the cover to attach to. Now this right here, as you can see, if I put it right here, it's wrong. It's supposed to be inside where it connects on this inner lip for it to be right, see that? Slide down the lip, not on the outside. Inside of the lip is where it's supposed to be, just like that. The clamps are easy if you put in the bottom first, then clip it on the top. I only needed a 10 millimeter socket and a Phillips head screwdriver. I had the brackets up to make them look evenly apart, not so close to the back, not so close to the front. I started off by putting the middle bracket in first. I did not tighten them all down because I wanted to get the placement set before I just went ahead and just, you know, tighten everything down real nice and tight. All right, put this up here out of the bag. You can see this little end should fit right into that little groove there. So we take this little screw out. Take this little screw out. Stick it in here. This piece, this piece here. Then it's going to be a section right here where you can put the screw back in to tighten it down. Now, I should be putting the uh, weather strip down, which I should have done already. So I'm gonna take that back out, put this weather strip down that I got right here. Then I'm gonna put that down on top of it. So get the bag fastened down, sides fastened down. I don't have the sides completely, extremely tight. I'm gonna use a measuring tape. Hopefully these are even right here. They got a little little clip thing right here you see that I'm gonna unhook it I'm gonna unravel it out and we're gonna see you get that side back have a little mine's on the hook so now we're gonna unravel it out and see uh what we have here Easy to look, son. YouTube guys. All right. This right here is gonna go into here. Then we're gonna pull it back on both sides to see if it latches in. So I'm going to unravel it, tighten everything down, and uh, we should be all set to release it. Core, let's see, Put the core down, there we go. I'm going to unravel it back up, tighten all these down, should be good to go. Well, it's all done. To me, it looks really, really good. It's black. The truck has, the truck is actually a gray diesel. I did quite a bit to the truck already. I will be having a video of everything I've done and everything else I want to do. Doesn't look too bad. We open it right here. See that? I don't know if you hear it. 
we get close it kind of grabs a little bit there I like that it's not not too bad at all not too bad at all the middle bar right here that, that curves up and goes over I think that when the snow hits on it it will sit good I seen on uh, YouTube you were saying how these flap and hit the window they're really not that long on this one no, this is not this is not bad at all. I, I really 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 dig this. I think this is a really good look for my for my truck. So I hope you guys like that video. Let's talk a little bit about it. Now that was only 150 bucks. It took me about 20 to 35 minutes. My wife says 45, but to me it felt like it was 20 to 35 minutes. You know, I only needed a 10 millimeter socket and a Phillips head screwdriver. As you see, I did do it in the snow. Um, I am gonna have a review in a couple of weeks for you guys on how many times I had to take it up You know if I had to put something in the back the car wash house home just, just everything about it. So if you're looking for a cheap Durable option. This is great for you I'm gonna be trying to grab the link so I can put it down below so you guys can get the same one that I got But if you want hold off for the review so you would know how durable it is how it's holding up any problems that I'm having. I want to say thank you for all you guys who's been tuning in to my Rizzy Talks, which here we talk about anything and everything. I love y'all. Be safe out there. Until next time, peace. Y'all already know it's your boy Rizzy. 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 Rizzy.